Give a big round of applause there for Jack McGowan. Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, I was raised in a deaf family, and I sometimes am worried about making fun of my uh, experiences because I worry about hurting my mother's feelings. But she won't hear this. <laughs> They would say, can your father drive? Can your mother cook? Can they read? <laughs> and no, they don't read Braille. <laughs> they would come to me and say, your house must be quiet. Not people do not know how much noise they're making. <laughs> when they're scraping off the dishes with knives, how loud they talk, when they fart. <laughs> now there are no cues for deaf people. I, I'm like a blind person, I have uh, sunglasses or cane. Deaf people don't wear earmuffs. <laughs> And um, my father was in the airport with me, and a Harry Krishna gave my father a book. My father took the book and then walked up. The Harry Krishna was like, hey, hey, that's my book. Just kept on going. <laughs> when I was five years old, I was the uh, voice of my parents' telephone. And so they, they decided I was old enough to be able to speak to bankers and the electric company. <laughs> Actually, my mother was surprised last night when I told her that. She didn't remember. But the, um, I would call the bank, and then I would, call, they, I would start the call with this. I'd say, uh, my parents are deaf, and I'm calling on their behalf. And almost without fail, the person on the other end of the line would say, they're dead? <laughs> and I said, I would be like, Look, you need to get your hearing checked. <laughs> I said, Dad, so good. School, though, I was not the best student. And mainly because I knew that if the school called my house, they would be talking to me. <laughs> and if they did call or my mom noticed that I was on, on the phone for a second, I'd just say, wrong number. <laughs> so in high school, they expected me to take a, take a second language. And man, that's not fair. And what I just told you in sign language was that English is my second language. <laughs> now, if I knew any curse words, I would have put them in there, but my parents didn't teach me. <laughs> but, Inspired by my favorite TV show, Hogan's Heroes, I took German. And the only thing I learned was after four years, or after four years, the only thing I learned was that German is hard to learn. <laughs> but, um, but American Sign Language is a beautiful language. It's rooted in French. Uh, you use your body, you use your hands, you use your facial expressions to tell a story and, and convey your message. And for some things, there's a, what we have finger spelling. Right, where you have a manual alphabet, you can spell things out if you need to. And what I would really love would be, look, we were in, be in the mall, or we'd be in the mall, and my parents would be signing to each other, and, and somebody would come up and say, I know sign language, and they would be going, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's like walking up to somebody and just spelling everything you want to see. <laughs> but there's one drawback, though, to American Sign Language. And that is you have to be able to see the person that's speaking to you. And, uh, and occasionally, though, my mother, she may not want to, wanted to hear what I had to say, so she would just simply close her A lot of therapy. <laughs> so I'm a Cold War veteran, served in the United States Submarine Force on uh, Trident Ballistical Nuclear Submarines. And 
screws are weird. Hey, you think it perfectly good shit. Put a nuclear reactor in it, a bunch of men, weapons of mass destruction, submerge it underwater, and then hope for the best. <laughs> but our mission, though, was to deter nuclear war and to save the world from the Soviet Union. And, uh, but I always often wonder, uh, what would happen if we had failed? Like, did the Navy have an island somewhere full with, or filled with women for us to help repopulate the planet? <laughs> <laughs> what was the plan? I mean... <laughs> So does it work? <laughs> and I was having chest pains. And I thought I was having a heart attack. But I come from a long line of proud men. And I didn't want to be wrong, so I Googled it. <laughs> and I did have all the symptoms. But I don't like to be a bother. So I didn't call 911. I just thought I'd save the fire department a trip, and I just walked over. <laughs> now, you know how this, and then, uh, but part of that, though, I figured, if I wasn't having a heart attack, I could just say, hey, you know how those firefighters are? You know, a middle-aged man having chest pains. Ooh, stick with the ambulance. Sorry, we're all. Let's go. <laughs> but, um, but I got down to the hospital, and the doctor said, good news, didn't have a heart attack. You have proud man syndrome. I said, I got PMS. <laughs> I'm Jack McGowan.